All right, less than three days to go. A total solar eclipse is coming Monday, and a small part of Metro Detroit is in the path of totality. You've probably heard it's not a good idea to look directly at the solar eclipse without special glasses. But did you know the same concept applies to taking pictures of it? Two of the more tech-savvy members of the Local 4 crew break it all down in this guide on how to watch. Safety is the most important thing to consider when you're going outside to look at the eclipse. You should never look directly at the sun without protective eyeglasses. Or you'll look like one of those crypto memes. Make sure that your glasses are ISO 12312-2 certified, AKA. Also, never look at the sun through a camera lens, telescope, binoculars, or any other device while wearing your glasses. The concentrated solar rays will burn right through the filter and cause serious eye injury. Don't have any glasses? No problem. You can use a do-it-yourself method to view the eclipse. It's called a pinhole projector. It works by letting the light from the sun shine through the pinhole and projecting an image of the sun on the other side. Many of the companies selling these paper glasses also sell filters for your cell phone. Here's Justin to explain more about that. Everyone's going to be trying to get a picture of it with their phones, but don't do that. It's just like another camera. You could damage the sensor of the lenses. It's really easy to do. You just slide this filter directly over the lens. If you own your own camera and you want to try to photograph the eclipse yourself, what you're going to need is a special filter that's a lot like a neutral density filter, except it's much, much more powerful. The sun is such a bright source of light, it can damage your camera by magnifying the powerful rays of the sun, just like it can damage your eyes. So I hope those tips help you and your family have a fun and safe time viewing the eclipse. The power of Ben and Justin. <laughs> Two of our more tech-savvy members really, of the Local 4 team. Exactly. Fantastic it job. Was great explanation. <laughs> you can expect more Eclipse coverage, of course, from Local 4 coming up on Monday. That's right. And we'll be streaming live all day on Local 4 Plus. And click on Detroit.com with reports from Cleveland, Toledo, and Luna Pier. Plus, we'll be talking to NASA astronauts and scientists about this event as it happens.